wanted to make this video uh, because I've recently seen something that reminded me of this book, which is Mirrors and Windows by John Sharkowski, where he talks about the two methodologies that are emerging um, or that emerged in the 20th century um, methods of, of working with photography. One being like a mirror where the photographer engages with the medium to learn something about himself as a psychology, his, um, his something about him. And a lot of these photographers work similarly to painters in the way they arrange things in their process. Um, a lot of them using large cameras, um, arranging everything within the image. Um, they they want to be in control, very similar to a painter. And the second way of working would be the window. And these would be photographers who use the camera as a vehicle to explore, for exploration of the world. These are people like Gary Winogrand, um, Robert Frank, Lee Friedlander, um, Diane Arbus, who are, obviously you can learn things about yourself while you're doing this kind of work, but they're turning the camera at the world and looking through it um, and learning something about reality uh, and society possibly in the process. But uh, this video specifically, I wanted to talk about photographing homeless people or homelessness. I've seen a lot of this kind of work recently. I saw some um, and it raised some old questions that I had um, answered already, but I don't, I, I do think this topic gets talked about, but this is my own opinion. <clears throat> and I, I'll use this book as kind of a jumping off point. Um, Sharkowski writes, for most Americans, the meaning of the Vietnam War was not political or military or even ethical, but psychological. Um, and so he says, too, that no photographs from the Vietnam War, neither Donald McCullen's stomach-wrenching documents of atrocity and horror, nor late Larry Burroughs' superb and disturbingly conventional battle scenes begin to serve as either explication or symbol for that enormity. And this is the point that he writes that I think is most important for specifically beginning photographers to understand. And that is good photographers had long since known whether or not they admitted it to the, their editors that most issues of importance cannot be photographed. Most issues of importance cannot be photographed. And uh, what does he mean by that? Obviously, you can make pictures uh, in war zones and you know, we have photographers like Kappa and um, people doing it now and photojournalists that go out and photograph war zones. And obviously you can photograph um, homeless people, right? But what, what do you do with those photographs? What are they actually doing? What percentage of those photographs cause a change, enact a change, or, or, or can even... Um, seem relevant after the fact. I, mean, I, I would argue that very few of them uh, actually do that. And specifically speaking with homelessness, a lot of the times I've seen the work, the work is not good. <laughs> Let's just start there and say that 99% of the images online are not good. And 99% of photographs of homeless people are not good. And the people who make the work, I hear arguments all the time. I'm raising awareness, and um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in the or in the rugged features or the weathered faces of these people. I want to give them a voice or something like that. And that's okay. I mean, I understand that, it, but it's a justification. I don't think you're actually interested in the person that's in front of you, even though you may stop, give them five dollars, talk to them for a while. I think you're interested in their condition and I think that's a problem because if they weren't in that condition you probably wouldn't care about them at all 
And so instead of photographing them, I would suggest helping them. Get, give them food, give them uh, clothes. You know, they need that stuff. They don't really need you to photograph them or to, you know, th throw them. Yeah, you could throw them $5 or, or whatever, but even that is kind of disrespectful, honestly. Would you run around um, offering random people $5 to take their picture? And would, how many of them would accept, you know, if they weren't homeless? Most people are terrified of photographing out in the real world in this, on the street. Regular people, they're terrified. But they feel perfectly comfortable photographing homeless people with or without consent, with long lenses, or even justifying it by walking up to them, talking to them, uh, giving them some money and taking their picture. It's almost like for the thrill of it. But they're not actually doing anything for that person or homelessness. I mean, raising awareness, we're aware there's a lot of people that need help. And the only thing I would say is that go out and help them. They don't need to be photographed, but they do need your help. We have a lot of veterans on the street that could use a meal, um, shave, clothes, food. So if you're really interested about homelessness, and you're really interested in homeless people, you know, yeah, talk to them. Be, you know, become friendly with them. Yes, they need that. Be sincere. Help them.